All right, welcome to part three. This will be the final part of our video. Um, as I was doing part two and looking at it, I decided to change something up. When we do our answer list, since we're listing our question with our multiple choice answers after it, like A, B, C, and D, we're going to change our answer list, the actual answer, to be whatever letter is correct. That way, we don't have to worry about if the user misspells the correct answer, marking it incorrect. So if they can't put A, B, C, or D, um, then they really shouldn't get it right. So we're going to do that. And we also need to go back to App Inventor, the main page, and select Answer Prompt Label. And you want to change your text to this. Enter a letter answer. That way, whoever's taking the quiz will know that they need to put in a letter for the answer. All right, and after you've done that, let's go back to the blocks editor. What we need to do is set up the submit button. So let's go to my blocks and go to the answer button and drag out the event handler. When the answer button is clicked, do this. We're going to need to go to built-in, and we're going to go um, to control and find the one that says if test, then do else. It's the second one on here. And from there, we'll go to built-in and math and select the equal sign. In our test, we're going to test for the answer test, text.text. .text. So go to answer text under my blocks and select the one that says answer text, dot text. And we want this to equal, we'll go to built in and list. And we'll find the one that says select list item. And the list that we're looking for is going to be a global variable and it will be the answer list and then the index will be our current question index so my blocks my definitions and select global current question index so if the answer text equals basically the one from the list whichever question we are on then it'll do this and we want to go to my blocks and get the right wrong label so we want to set right wrong label text to and then built in go to text so if the answer matches the answer on the list then the right wrong label for text will say correct and we can control C and control V this and if it's not correct, if this is false, then it'll be under else do, and it'll be incorrect. And then the last thing we need to do is go back up to the next button, and up at the top we need to add in, um, under my blocks, get the right wrong label, text, So we're going to set the right wrong label text to built in and I'll just say text and you can delete that and we're also going to set the answer text to text. Let's go to my blocks answer text, find the one that says answer text dot text and we can copy and paste this. So select it, control C, control V. There we go. And once we have that, we are finished. So we can go ahead and open up an emulator and we can test out what we've done. And I don't have the emulator open right now. Um, so I'll skip that part. But go ahead and try yours out. Uh, what you should be able to do is go through all six of your questions. 
answer it and it should tell you as you hit submit whether the question is correct or incorrect and then when you hit next it'll go to the next question and basically once you're finished with this show me that you are done and it works and I will give you credit for the assignment thank you